Trust and Know is a textbook example of So Bad It's Good Content and one of the most misunderstood series alongside Sunny Boy. It feels like I'm the only, only one in the world who thought it was amazing, but I wouldn't give it any less of a 10 out of 10. It has, permanent, it has permanently scarred me forever and, and how horrifying it is, but it was merciful. Nearly every episode I was crying from laughter. This is a series that is going to break you. It feels like they made the animation terrible on purpose to make it funnier. I could write a book about all the animation errors and awkward ex execution in the series, and yet it became the most enjoyable series for, of, the, of the season for me, other than Sunny Boy. One problem with this series is that it was ignorantly treated unfairly. Many viewers were going by word of mouth, mouth scores of all things. A, a few seconds of the first episode, or by an image or a short clip, then they would instantly give it a 1 out of 10 and bash it. I saw viewers do this. It's fine if they hated it, but Tessa Note deserves a chance. Tessa Note feels to me like the beginning of something I mostly don't want to start in anime. CGI 2D mixing in anime has been a mistake overall. Though eventually it might get a little better as the technology improves, and every now and then a hit comes out using it. Animation aside, Tessa Note is very good with solid, with solid writing overall. Without the awful animation, it is still hilarious. Tessa is one of the most interesting people to have ever lived, and governments made sure to seize all his work and hide it from the public. I'm sure much of the best technology out today was made in secret with the documents he left over after he died a penniless man. But the hilarious thing about this being a series based on science is that the series itself hardly follows the laws of science with its animation. There's an organization that is out to prevent the world from the misuse of the Tesla shards, which have many incredible powers. Botan is a ninja that was raised as a weapon, but for whatever reason can't kill at first. She cares for life as far as willingly giving up her life and disobeying orders to do so. Even if her life is threatened, she'll find the time to come to clumsy realizations and joke around. She is very durable, seeing as though Elmo's rhino fists don't seem to do any damage to her. She has a clever perception and is as cute as a button. Her interactions with Kuruma are hilarious and some of the best parts in the series. Kuruma is a very angry spy who thinks he's the best and who feels forced to have to work with Botan. They constantly butt heads, but he does care and is very protective of her. He wears a distractingly colorful sweater and has some of the worst mouse animations I have ever seen. The most interesting character, however, is Mickey. I despise the CIA, but I'll make an exception for him and Oliver. His comedy is awkwardly funny as he moves majestically in his deliverance. Oliver is a good boy, and I'm sure I wasn't the only one getting Kirky Ice Reinhardt vibes from him and Mickey. I'm not going to mention every character, but they are all lovable, funny, and memorable characters. Una Casita is a sad excuse of a villainous organization, but the arc of the spies is a great and touching story overall. People might think I'm out of my mind for giving this 100 out of 100, but I can't deny that this gave me so much enjoyment and how hilariously funny it was. In fact, I've I've already rewatched it, and I'm gonna rewatch it again for the Mickey moments. I'm gonna make a compilation of the Mickey moments. A lot of fond memories of screaming out in laughter from awkward whistling scenes, una casita jokes, Mickey's fabulous personality. Awkward scene transitions, frozen frames, choppy frames, awful dog growling, soundless explosions, off-timing sound effects, shape-shifting off-model animation, non-existent and confusing fighting choreography, characters getting roasted, characters relaxing casually while on fire, Oliver sniping drones from a high-speed raft, homicidal priest, constant misspelling of words, Clayto people in the background, the camera constantly zooming into the sun during important scenes, lifeless movements, floating people, thrones that look like urinals, PlayStation 1 tier cutscenes, long still frame shots with audio around them, and the worst AI fight I've ever seen, and that awful circus song that keeps playing even during tense moments. Thank you for listening.